So Boss is out with a new tube amp expander, which is quite a bit different compared to the old tube amp expander. Now I figured out we can watch a video together about the new unit and sort of comment on the stuff that they're talking about and maybe even say some things that they're not telling us. Now before we start this video, I need to introduce you to the sponsor of this video and it is Frodo Morrison. Come on baby, light my shire. And in the presence of Frodo Morrison, I want to tell you about my project and it is the Slightly Technical Academy, which you can find on slightlytechnicalacademy.com. So if you're interested into guitar related stuff, you're gonna find a lot of useful information and educational content over there. Registration is free, check it out. All right, let's get into the video. <laughs> So, as I normally do in these videos, we're gonna be running through this at increased playback speed and we're gonna skip ahead because there's a lot of blah blah. Ben, what are we running into? It's really fun, Wait, yeah. Which amp are you running into here? Uh, so right now we're going through, I believe, the Bad Cat, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. Yep, so this one right here. So we got uh, the Bad Cat wound up pretty hot. So is, right now it would be killing us yeah, yeah, if yeah. we're not going through this, yeah. yes. So, and this can take anything up to what, up to 100 watts? Up to 100 watts, absolutely. Wow. Which is most okay, this is very important. So this new unit, they say it's rated at 100 watts. What we have to like stress here is that the old unit was rated at 150 watts. Why is that important? The new unit will not be able to handle an amplifier like this, or like a high watt, or some of these older like 100 watt um, amplifiers, because the, yes, they are rated at 100 watts, but since we play them cranked, they uh, actually generate more power, so it goes well, well, well above 100 watts, and this unit is most probably not going to be able to handle them. Uh, I saw some other videos of this unit. It has some nice air cooling going around. My guess is it's done well, but it will not be able to handle uh, really uh, like 100 watt heads, most of them, at least the like older style ones. Um, I also see that they have uh, like 50 watt amplifiers in the rack, and they're just not saying this in the video, so I thought it was important for you to know. So, right? yeah. Yeah. And you uh, brought up a good point too, which is, you know, what's different from the other one too. So the main difference is instead of having that 100 watt output, we're gonna have a 30 watt output now. Right. So a little bit different than the other one, still sounds amazing, still plenty yeah. to crank and be heard. Uh, also too, your air fill here is gonna be a little different, right. because now on, like when you're playing through your headphones now, you're gonna get that amp in the room sound, which yeah, is really like, great. Like, like, like a room effect. Kind so of is that, yeah. is that? Uh, okay, so most probably these amp Amplifiers have something like a, like a class D amplifier that's uh, sort of running if you're doing like the reamping thing. Uh, this one has a 30 watt uh, amp. The other one had more, uh, 50, 60 or something like this. Uh, I don't remember honestly, but compared to the power station that I'm using, the power station has like a full tube output. Is that really important? I don't know. I think I'd be completely fine if I was playing through this one. Probably has like a class D FET based something. I think that's absolutely fine as long as um, the cooling of this whole unit is uh, done well. Um, instead of like a horse, what, instead of a reverb, or is there a reverb in here as well? Excellent question. So you don't lose the reverb by using that. Right. It's in addition. Okay. So cool. the great thing is you can set that to where you like it, get that amp in the room sound going, yeah. and then come back in here to the editing software and still be able to select your reverb here. Ah, so you've got like a katana style set of effects as well absolutely. that you can add in from here. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I mean, honestly, this is incredible. Like the power of this unit is absolutely incredible. You have an amp. Uh, you can uh, load IRs, you can add effects, you also have a, an additional effects loop that you can use for like your pedals that you prefer. It is incredible, honestly. Let's, let's hear it. Let's yeah, hear yeah. it. This is without the reverb on. Um, so I so, can come so in that, here. That, that reverb that... that yeah, you're right. you're yeah. in the room with an amp through headphones. That's cool to know it's on there. Yeah, absolutely. But if you don't want to use that and you prefer to pick something in here, absolutely. Just come over here. We turn the reverb on. All of these settings that I'm making right now that you see on the screen are assignable to any of the rigs, just like they were on the old one. Right. Okay. So it, it's want... one of the blocks is. That's really incredible. Really, really incredible. Presumably an actual IR as well, is it, that you can load in? Oh, we'll get there, yes, yes, okay, absolutely. Right. Yes. So it's effects and IR as well as the... As and the, you can um, pick or choose whichever one you like. That's cool. Absolutely. So right now, added the plate reverb to it. Uh, and of course... Can you, do, can you do this on a phone or is this just a USB? Uh, no, that's a great question. No, if you add the actual Bluetooth module along with this, you're going to be able to use any of your iOS devices with this to be able to edit it from the phone. Very similar to what I'm... That's crazy. It only needs Android support. Because there are some of us who use Androids. 
doing here. Cool. Right. Yep. So you get all of that too. So what are your favorite uh, delay settings? Oh, just some little bit of slack, back, slack back. A little bit. Oh, a little yes. Bit of, yes. yes. Just, oh, just a little, just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right. Uh, the original Jeep Expander was different to most load boxes yes. in that. If you continued the signal through and you wanted to drive a speaker, yes. it was using its own internal sort of solid state amplifier, wasn't it? Rather than just an attenuated sort of down sound exactly. of the amplifier. Yeah, yeah. So is this doing the same thing but with a like a lower output? It is. Built in You're amp? absolutely right. So what's, so what's if, the amp that's in here then? So it's a 30 watt. It's okay. going to be um, 30 watt solid state amp on this, uh, and that way that's what allows us to choose what we have coming out of the speaker here. Yeah. So not quite as much as this big brother, but still enough. totally enough. Enough. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. if you're wanting to use other things, to use it as a power amp as well, or if you have a lower. Is it enough? I don't know. Is it? Wattage jam that I've seen you guys have before too. Flip, yeah, it. Yeah. flip it and yeah. bring it up to where now yeah. nice and loud. Yeah. And so that, cool. that I think is the one where I'm sort of most interested in kind of almost like feeling it, maybe even hearing it through the cab. I don't know how well we'll pick that up because you're kind of, I think most guitar players will probably go, oh, am I going to lose that valve thing because yeah. now I'm sort of solid state. I, I know when we've used the tube amp expander, it doesn't really feel like that. It still feels and yeah. sounds kind of pretty realistic, but you know, I, I guess that's something we'll see if we can try. But. Yeah, and response to the volume yeah. Yeah. and your pick attack and light and soft, all that. All right, that's like, ah, oh, when they started talking about this over YouTube videos, but I'm sure it sounds quite, quite fine. But it's very, very powerful. I love it. And then if I compare that to the line out. So, so the reverb doesn't right, go so out So you're here, only right? getting the air feel and the effects on the DI signal, not into the speaker, right? Yes, yes. Right. And also, too, you have the ability up in here to choose in your programs what goes out, which output. Right. So right. that if you prefer... All right, this is very important because this is honestly amazing because what you can do with this unit you can actually go to a gig and you can basically create a mix for the PA system and the audio engineer and you can also create a mix for whatever is going to be reamped in your speaker and I find this absolutely amazing it feels like they thought of all the possible combinations except the Android platform app but really 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 amazing prefer, you know, if you're sending in front of house, you want them to have yeah. a certain combination of things, but yet you want your speaker to have a different combination yeah, yeah. of things, yeah. you can totally do all that. And this still has the effects loop in it, right? Yes, and that's so, what this is running. And that's so cool. All right, so they're going to check the pedal out now. So it has an effects loop, just like the Fried Power Station. I mean, has an effects loop, has internal effects, has different ways to mix it, like to send something to the PA, to send something what was going to the speaker. What else? Headphones? out it has everything it is amazing like really I'm really impressed by this unit I mean that's one of the things that a lot of these things lack, lack. I actually think I think I prefer the IR you've put on this than I do necessarily even out, out of the cab. speaker. Yeah, um, and we haven't even touched the IRs yet. So, so yeah it also has the option to load in IRs which means that when you go to a gig you will be able really to dial in like whatever tone you like and send it to the audio engineer. I cannot stress enough how good this is. So that's really impressive. I'm actually really impressed by this device. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. And I'm not easily impressed. Yeah. What do you, you Scott? You is this the sort of standard stuff? That you're and go into the cap. He doesn't want to load it. Exactly. So. Yeah. Oh, that's super. Exactly. Cool. So, yeah, they're sort of finishing out here with uh, whatever, just changing some IRs and stuff. It, if you like, you can watch the video um, so you can listen to the sounds. To be perfectly honest, in this video, what I heard in this video didn't really sound good, but um, that's, I guess that's my opinion. So, in general, I am really impressed by this unit. It is extremely uh, versatile. It is packed with features. And I find that amazing. Compared to the Fried Power Station, this is like color television. But to be perfectly honest, I would always use a Fried Power Station because uh, it is sort of the only right, purest way to do it. And yeah, everybody um, has their own problems in life. And my problem is that I need to have this type of circuit. So I really like that. Now, one thing that I would really like to hear in person, and it's really a sensitive thing, not all of these reactive loads are uh, built the same. So I'd really like to check how this one uh, sort of sounds and feels, but I see that there are some, also some potentialities where you can change sort of the impedance curve because all of these reactive loads are actually modeled based on certain speakers. So not all of them are the same. 
and the amplifier actually sounds different when you plug it in to different reactive loads. And really, I mean, I don't know. I guess it sounds fine. My guess is that it sounds fine. The solid state uh, power amp, as I just mentioned in the video, uh, I hope they made sure that the cooling is done well because those uh, solid state amps can get uh, a little bit hot. In addition, you have uh, amps blowing into the reactive load, so stuff gets hot in this very small box. So I hope that the box doesn't get hot, that they got that engineering part done well. And um, I guess they did it well. So very impressed by this. These effects and everything, I'm sure that these effects sound great. Their official video obviously sounds great. This guy who is presenting, I'm sorry, I don't know what his name is, but he has learned um, what he had to say on his uh, recital, and that's absolutely fine. These people do their job, they're doing very nice marketing, and um, yeah, I think that's it. Very impressed by the unit. I hope you got some additional information that will help you decide whether this unit is right for you. And if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. It really, really helps me out, and check out the Slightly Tech Technical Academy at slightlytechnicalacademy.com because there's gonna be some really cool things over there. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video very very soon. Bye.